Faith and belief are at the heart of spirituality, mythology, and folklore. I met with healers who have the ability to tap into the energy of the universe and heal their clients. Join me as we explore life in the metaphysical fast lane and soul plays your life. In Eastern cultures, the life force energy that flows through all living plants, animals, and humans is called chi. Throughout the ages, different people learned to channel this energy with different modalities such as yoga, tai chi, and meditation. Along the way, I was introduced to a form of moving meditation called qigong. So I reached out to an instructor and met Erica. Hello, my name is Erica Holmstrom. I'm a body and brain yoga and tai chi instructor, teaching brain education through yoga and tai chi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We started off by stimulating our chi. We activated our power center in the abdomen, called the donjon. A strong donjon can increase your gut health reduce stress, and boost immunity. She received a book called Brainwave Vibration from Ilchi Lee, the founder of Body and Brain Yoga and Tai Chi and Brain Education. And she was very intrigued by it, very intrigued by what Ilchi Lee has done with brain education and even brainwave vibration. And return. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of flexibility and balance basic class Stretch and then arch your hips back and bring your body forward all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. <sighs> Lightly bounce, one. We first sensitize our body and brain together. Then we work on versatilizing our brain, awakening our brain. Then refreshing our brain from past memories and habits and emotions. And then we integrate everything together. So nothing in life is separate, integrating everything. And then we master our brain. So through the five steps, we can achieve the mastery of our body, our brain, our emotions, everything. Deep breath in. Bring your palms together, breathe out. I learned about different ways to channel energy. Erica brought in this tool and taught me that by stimulating the belly button, you can activate your body. Everyone was born from their belly button. So when we stimulate our belly button, we can really feel the essence and the origin of our life. She also taught me a new love for my body. Today, we're gonna focus on first just vibration and then a little bit of whole body tapping to wake up all the cells and everything in our body. Look up to your armpit. Just say it. I love my armpit. Yes. <laughs> Why do we say that? We say it because there's lots of lymph nodes in our armpit that are really important to our immune system. And I love my armpit. I love my armpit. <laughs> and it's weird and it makes us laugh. <laughs> Down your side. I never appreciated my armpits before. <laughs> Have you? You got it. I love my armpits. I love a lot of things. Never gave much From my last session, Erica brought in her regional director, Michelle, to guide me through some deeper training. She had this little tool to find meridian points that are located under the fingernails. And I had no idea how sensitive my fingers were. I'm going to help her opening up her meridian channel throughout her whole body so that she could experience opening her body and energy in her whole channel. Having an ownership and mastership of your mind and your soul, your heart and your body. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay. I have to help you. <laughs> Getting starts to get better, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> Breathe in. I used this tool to work on my crown chakra. I could feel energy shooting all the way down from the top of my head to my root chakra. 
I wouldn't say it was a pleasant feeling. Let's just say it was activating. When she does it on your head, OMG, it hurts so bad. But I did feel an opening. You do feel something shifting in your body and you feel your energy coming in and out. And it was very powerful. Qigong showed me how the whole body is connected from your belly button to your fingernails to your crown chakra. It's all about working with your body and opening up the energy. There's incredible wisdom in this ancient practice and I definitely encourage you to experience it for yourself. My new habit of creating my morning routine is truly working. It's been keeping me motivated and on track of my why with emphasis on self-care. I'm seeing my negative thoughts towards exercise receding into the background and my subconscious mind is giving me access to new positive beliefs. I'm finding that my all-around confidence is growing and that's transformation.